Hi, welcome back to the Spirits Path. This is D, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is Balance. And that's what it's going to start off uh, for the week, for June 15th. And uh, the thing I like about this card is we need to find that balance within ourselves. And uh, sometimes that takes an inner working, and you know that's what this Life Lessons card is about. Um, you know, this is red and white energy, you know, uh, being, uh, you know, wrapped around this tree. And, uh, you know, we have lots of different polarized energies within us to begin with. Uh, emotional, psychic, uh, you know, action energies, um, you know, primarily a lot of the emotional. Um, you know, but if we can become emotionally balanced with what we're doing, and if we think through things... Um, and not let our emotions get the best of us, become more grounded in making those decisions, um, you know, there will be no regrets, you know, going forward. You know, if you can be balanced with nature, um, you know, you're going to be a much happier person. Just being able to, you know, be outside and, and do these readings has, has really helped balance me out from, you know, what took place over the winter, you know, because, you know, December when I started this, you know, I was you know, traveling around Hawaii and doing this. And, you know, I really enjoyed being in nature. And then when I got home, you know, to, to cold Michigan, you know, it was sitting at the kitchen table and, you know, black, uh, brown bl uh, backdrop. And, you know, being outside is just, you're able to soak in the sun and soak in the, just the energy from the trees and the bushes and, you know, listening to the birds sing and, you know, just becoming more balanced with nature. And at the same time, you know, you're becoming more balanced with the universe because I, you know, I know for myself, when it's gray and drab, you know, I don't like that. I, I prefer, you know, sunny, sunny days, warm days. You know, they could be cold a little bit, but, you know, just to have clear skies and be able to look into the, you know, look up to that universe and just, wow, you know, become balanced with that. It becomes, you know, spiritually balanced is another one too. Um, you know, last week we had a lot of court cards, a lot of energy that was out there to, you know, help guide us on, on our goals and help guide us on, you know, being nurtured and, you know, and taking that action, being dedicated. You know, and then that jealousy card came up, you know, the other day. And, you know, if I'm not mistaken, the balance came up as well right after that. And here we are again. Yesterday was jealousy and today's balance. And it's, you know, take those blessings don't be jealous of somebody else, okay? Don't, you know, uh, don't be jealous of what somebody else has. You know, it's that balance that you want to create where it's, you know what? I have what I need. I'm grateful for what I have. And be thankful for everything that you have, you know? Uh, you know, even during the stressful time of, you know, COVID-19 and things like that. I understand, you know, some people may not have jobs and you are wondering, you know, when the universe is going to take over and, you know, bestow blessings upon them. Um you know what? When it's your time, it'll happen. Just continue to give yourself to the universe. Continue to give yourself, you know, to all and let all take care of you. Okay. Um, the other part that I like about this, about this card is the balance is, you know, this is also represents the helix of our DNA. And uh, I've talked about this before where I believe, you know, circle theory is what I once thought. And now I think it's like a DNA theory that as we continue to travel on our path, you know, we go around in a circle. And, you know, if a lot of times there may be a point in time as we're walking that path where, you know, we hit it and we say, man, I've been here before. You know, what did I do last time? You keep walking back, you know, and as you move up that little ladder or that little helix, you know, you come back to that point in time again. And eventually what happens is you realize that, been here before I need to make a change all right a change for the better and that's part of that that's part of that journey that's part of that that spiritual path that you're on is overcoming those challenges and tribulations and finding that balance within your life finding that balance of of light and dark you know especially as you're walking through that that wildwood forest and if you know if you can see you know not only is you got the the serpents wrapped around the tree but you know you've got that face in there too and the stones and the you know the stones represent security stability the tree is you know sitting there going you know what i'm stable in this and i've got this great serpent energy circling around me so 
the good thing is, is, you know, as I sit out here and I listen to the birds and, you know, I can hear the dogs in the background, you know, there's a balance between humanity and nature. And we need to keep that, whether that's in the oceans or the forests or the prairies or whatever. As humans, we need to respect, respect that land, respect that ocean, respect, you know, the animals that are out there because, you know, those, that's their habitat, okay? There needs to be that healthy habit, uh, healthy, um, uh, balance, you know, between animals and humans, because when there isn't, you know, that's when things become endangered and that's when, you know, the habitat comes out and, uh, you know, is looking for things, you know, maybe in your neighborhood, you know, there's, there's a deer beer here. There's deer over my mom's house. I, I watched them this morning when I was over there visiting and, uh, you know, she's in the middle of the city and she's got deer in the back of her yard. You know, I'm just, I'm just south of a major city, and I've got deer in the back of my yard. I've seen foxes, kits, um, you know, geese are all over the place, but it's just amazing at the, um, at the wildlife that's in your own neighborhood and what's going on. So, um, you know, be aware of that, that, that balance that's out there. Um, traditionally, this is also known as temperance. And it, you know, what that also represents is inner strength and tranquility. And we talked a little bit about that Woodward where the Woodward, you know, gives you that inner strength. Um, you know, temperance does that same thing. And, and most of your life lessons cards are gonna have you look within, you know, to try to find some sort of balance or tranquility or serenity. Um, the good thing about that is, you know, with life lessons cards, they want you to touch base with your higher self. Touch base with what you know is true. Listen to your gut, listen to your intuition, you know, meditate, all right, and be one with one with the, the natural balance that's going out there. Of course, nothing's gonna happen overnight. So, you know, there's gotta be some patience and, you know, that really is the key and it's the key with all life lesson cards. You know, we are so wound up into having everything now, 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 that if you ask the universe to give you, you know, what you're looking for, Okay, you have to be patient. You have to listen, not only with your ears, but with your spiritual ears. Get that discernment. Listen with your with your third eye, and just just open yourself up. Just open yourself up to your you know to your chakras and to you know your meditations and to your soul, and just listen. Listen to what spirit has for you. Truly listen. You know, shut your mind off, and you'll know when it's true because you'll become calm. Your breathing will start getting, you know, softer. And, and your shoulders will slump, all right? You'll be relaxed, and you'll know for a fact, okay, that you're one with nature, one with that balance. So take a moment on your, on your journey as you're moving forward this week, okay? Take a big, deep breath. And just know, Monday's, Monday's here, okay? Let's take it easy today. Let's get in balance with nature. Let's get in balance with the universe. All right. And and let this journey be one of, you know, being being restful and being still. Understanding that, you know what? There's I need to be prepared for what's happening, you know, going forward. And I just need to be one with what I'm doing. All right. And spirit's gonna guide you. You know, guaranteed you're gonna get into that zone. All right. And you know, things are gonna go snap, 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 snap. And before you know it, the day is going to be over and you're going to be like, wow, you know, spirit was with me today. I didn't realize that. The other thing is trust and confidence in your own strength. And that helps to find that inner, inner balance while you're, while you're going through your day. You know, so patience is the key. You know, breathe a little, be still, listening to your, your soul, listening to the universe and trusting, trust in your confidence, trust in the universe and, you know, have confidence in yourself. Because balance is necessary to free ourselves from the fears and, and, and the self-doubts that hold us back. We all have them. You know, uh, you know, there's many things that I've been thinking of and, you know, fear and self-doubt holds me back a lot. All right. But I'm trying to move forward. And, you know, one of the biggest things moving forward was the, you know, the goal map. Get off my ass plan and, you know, get this, this channel, you know, moving. And that's what I did. You know, there was a lot of fear and self-doubt on that. Same thing with the website at thespiritspath.com. You know, a lot of fear and self-doubt. And, you know, my next step, there's some fear and self-doubt in that. All right. But, you know, when it happens, guess what? I'm going to be free. I'm going to be free of that fear. I'm going to be free of that self-doubt. And I'm going to, you know, be enjoying it because, you know, this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. 
The other thing is, is that holds us back spiritually, that fear and self-doubt. So we have to be balanced, you know, to be able to conquer that fear, to be able to conquer that self-doubt, to have trust in ourselves, you know, to have confidence moving forward. And once you do that, your higher self starts aligning with spirit, with the universe. And you know what? When you open that up, that stage of balance is achieved. The key is having patience to get there and then realizing what you, you know, what you did to get there and trying to maintain it. Maintain that high level of spiritual energy, you know, that high, you know, vibrational level where everything's in sync. Everything's synchronous, uh, synchronous with the universe, you know, with your spirit, with your path. So that's today's message to start the week out, Balance. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and uh, share it with others. Subscribe to the channel. And this is D for the Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.